Hi guys! Um, episode 6 from American Idol Season 8. Auditions still going on. The audition rounds always seem to take so damn long. It drives me crazy. But, um, they're in Salt Lake City, so I'm hoping things will turn out well because there seems to be a lot of stuff in the water in Utah lately. Um, let's see, so we opened the show with David Osmond. He's got this whole backstory about how he used to be in a wheelchair and all that. But you know what? Just being an Osmond is backstory enough. I mean, you're an Osmond. Like, I really don't know if the world needs another Osmond, but <laughs> whatever. Um, he sang Something Within Me, which I think he said was some song by like a contemporary Christian band or something, but I wouldn't know it. I don't, I don't know. I don't listen to that genre much. I know a few songs, but not that one. <laughs> um, okay. Then we had Tara Matthews, who was supposed to be Idol's first goth girl or whatever, but I don't know. She sang One Day I'll Fly Away. Um, that was just a mess. Complete mess. Um, then you had Alicia Turner sang Last Name. Well, I, also a complete mess. Katie Sullivan. I don't even have a song down for her, so either I forgot it, or didn't know it at all, or couldn't recognize it. I don't know what it was, but I don't even have a song listed. And you had Rich Cagle. He sang, I think it was supposed to be Ain't No Mountain High Enough, but he was making up his own words. But, yeah. And then the guy after him was Chris Kirkham. He sang it high enough, and I know he did because he sang the right words. He's the guy that brought the bunny with him, Greg the Bunny or something, which that, that actually amused the crap out of me, but way too gimmicky for my taste. But it the, like for people that like that, like like the guy who brought the cheerleaders in that other episode, this guy, he's not the one dressing up. He's just bringing along a stupid dressed up friend. So why don't you just? Make the friend leave the room and listen to this guy, rather than just judge him based on the friend. Like, regardless, probably, definitely not good enough, but like the guy with the cheerleaders I thought was decent. Like from a couple episodes ago, I don't remember what episode it was, but he w I thought he was decent, but they just got rid of him because he had the cheerleaders. Just make them leave the room if you don't like them or something. I mean, really. Um... Then we had Frankie Jordan. She sang, um, You Know I'm No Good, Amy Winehouse. That was, that was cool. I like the whole, like, you know, okay, Amy Winehouse just drives me nuts. Her whole, like, crazy, druggy, crazy thing or whatever. But her voice is, like, I love that throwback sound and that, like, it's got that, like, smoky feel to it. I love that. That, that, I love that. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> but it's good stuff, and... It's what's in right now, like that whole smoky, sexy sound. That's in. So this girl, this girl's got it. She's got it. Um, then we have Megan Corkery. She was the um, single divorced mom. She sang "Can't Help Loving That Man of Mine." She had this really weird old sound to her voice. I didn't really like it, but they were all over it. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe it'll grow on me, but just from the audition, I was like, "What the hell is this mess?" But. Whatever, um, Andrew Gibson, the only note I have is no, so I don't even have, like, a song written down, so it was either unrecognizable, or I just didn't care, or missed it, or, um, I don't know, um, we had Austin Cisneros, who, um, he sang When I Look to the Sky and It Takes a Village, neither song I knew, so, um, I was just, like, it's hard to judge when you don't really know a song, but... I mean, they liked it, but just didn't like the song choices. And yeah, I think that's what turned me off was the song choices. I'd like to hear him sing something more contemporary and not like that. But <laughs> it's not a matter of not really knowing the song either. It's just that the style threw me off a little bit, but whatever. Um, okay, then you had Jarrett Burns, who... 
He's saying put your records on, and I think... Why do I have it written here, yes, I think? Do I not know if he made it through or not? Like, I think I'm going to have to rewatch the episode to remember that, but... Whatever, it must have just gone by so fast I didn't really understand what was going on. But, yeah. Um, I'll have to rewatch that. Because... All the episodes are going by so fast, I have to rewatch every single one, like, a million times before I get all the details straight. It sucks, but... And you had Taylor, Vife, uh, Nua, or something like that. She's like Jordan Sparks 2.0. She's this cute girl. She's young. She's like 60 million feet tall. She, <laughs> she would scare me. I'm like 5 foot 4, and I hate, like... That's why I like short guys. Because, like, otherwise I'm like, eh, and that just drives me out of my mind. Like, I can't do that. I can't do that. I, I, I need, like, level. But whatever. She would, like, scare me. <laughs> I have a friend who's, like, 5'11", 6'1", in her heels. I'm like, Christine? I'm so happy she takes her shoes off in my house. Like, because it just scares me enough without them. Um, okay, and then we had Rose Fleck, who, um... She's the girl who both her parents died, and she's living in, like, a friend's house or something, and she's saying, I feel the earth move. Um, I forget what the judges said, but it was something about, like, the song. They didn't like the song or something, I think it was. Or what, like, I think what she did with it was, like, it, I don't know. She did something different to the song that made it, like... I think it was something with, like, the melody or something. See, this is how forgettable this episode is. Like... I don't know. Okay. So, that's alright. Okay. 13 people got through from this episode. And we only saw 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, hang on, 5, 6, 7 of them. 7 of the 13. That's more than I thought. But if but since I can't remember most of those seven, these people are not that good. Um, God, I mean, you, you, Idol was doing so good. Episode three, episode four, and then they give us this to close out, like, the auditions this week. There's one more episode. It's the New York auditions, which the first round actually takes place in New Jersey, but they don't want anybody to know that. Whatever. Um, so let's just hope Jersey has a lot of talent, not only for the show's sake, but for mine, for living here. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time, on the flip side.